everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Twin Set and Pearls Knitting Podcast. This is episode 39, I'm reliably informed. <laughs> um, we're together at my house and today we're going out for lunch to celebrate our birthday <laughs> and Rachel and Mark's wedding anniversary, which is today. 13 years yeah. together. Yeah. Um, so today we've got, we're having a regular podcast. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some FOs, some whips, some um, new pattern. New pattern. We've got some acquisitions. A birthday giveaway. A birthday giveaway, gift away, whatever yeah. we're calling it these days. And we're opening our advents mm -hmm. live on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're live. <laughs> um, and yeah, we wanted to share all of that with you today. Yeah. So before we start, welcome to everybody, um, new viewers, <laughs> old viewers, returning viewers, whatever you are, we are you're welcome here. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just love to talk about our knitting and um, yeah. everything yarny. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm Joe. I'm Rachel. And we together we're Twin Sun Pearl. We knit and we design and we like to share everything with you yeah. guys. We do. So, so today is Sunday the 17th of December. So we've got a week to go before Christmas. One more week at work for me. Yeah. Rachel's retired, so one more week of knitting socks. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a few... Uh, Celebrating my birthday yeah, with a few friends. Yeah, she's got a few things to do this week, so she's uh, going to be busy. Um... Right, so shall we yeah, kick off on. with some admin? Yep. Everything about us and where you can find us on all the social medias is in the drop box below. Okay. Click on the more tab or is it see more or whatever. There's a little more thing you Just can more. click on to get all the notes. Yeah. Um, we usually do them once the podcast has gone live. So Joe does um, them I do them after by watching it. Yeah. So um, if if you watch it and they're not there, just come back um, like a day or so later if there's something yeah. that you need to you need to find out. Or alternatively, you can message one of us on Instagram. Um, not so much Ravelry. We're not we don't go on there so much. Mm. But if you DM either of us on Instagram, um, we'll happily answer any of your questions. So the first bit of admin that I'd like to talk about is our birthday sale. Um, at the moment, well, from the 11th, we've been, all of our patterns have been buy one, get one free, um, except for the ones that are already dedicated to an individual charity. They will always um, cost you the full price because that money is going to charity. And since the beginning of the 1st of December until the, well, the whole of the month, all of our the proceeds from our sale, our sales, yeah, sales. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Not, well, the sale at the moment, but from everything yeah. that anybody's all bought. the proceeds from the sales of our patterns for the, for the for December is going to Lamb Health Bangladesh, which is a we've talked about it. We've got um, a live on Instagram on the first. That was on the first of December, wasn't it? And um, so far, we've raised just under seven hundred pounds. So I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody and let's see what we can do in the next Yeah, time. and a lot of people we think have been few, directed few to us from Ruth Loves yeah. to Knit podcast because it's Ruth Loves to Knit. It's a charity that she supports. She used to work at the LAM and um, she's mentioned us a couple of times mm -hmm. and, and people have come over from her podcast to look at our Ravelry store yeah, so and buy some pants. So if anybody from Ruth's podcast is now a subscriber of ours, we wanted to say a massive thank you if you've bought a pattern. And obviously to anybody who watches us who's also bought a pattern, yeah. we just wanted to say a massive thank so you. So I do, I add it to our stories every, um, about all about the birthday sale every couple of days. I don't want to bombard with people. I just put the same thing up to remind them that the sale's on. And um, yeah, so you will about if you follow us on instagram you'll see that um or you can see that and yeah so we've um really pleased with how it's mm. going so far and we hope everyone enjoys yeah, the, so the, sale, the buy one get one free sales on until christmas day yeah but the money going to charity carries on until the 31st of mm. december yeah and then um i'm hoping that my company will match 500 pounds yeah. 
of that. Which is brilliant. So um, I need to sort that out in the new year. Yeah. But, um, cool. And then we also have our soccer look, Bridgerton Soccer Long going on at the moment. So for the whole of December, the Bridgerton socks are buy one, get one free. And that includes the e-books for the first time. Um, I have to say that I'm immensely disappointed that Bridgerton season three isn't actually starting until they've moved the date to May next year. So sorry about that, everybody. It's such a Christmassy thing. I know. Me. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm thinking. Everyone's been complaining about it on Instagram. Yeah. I just really hope that you've enjoyed the knit along, the sock along, and that you'll still be, if you haven't joined in, there's still two weeks to go. Um, and it isn't about finishing a pair of socks either. It's about joining in, um, obviously buying a pattern or two if you don't have any. There is a free pattern though, the King George socks. Uh, we wanted everyone just to join in and it's all being done on Instagram. Show us your um, Bridgerton socks and there will be some prizes. Um, there will be pattern prizes, not our patterns. We will buy you patterns on Ravelry or, you know, um, Wherever anybody yeah, buys a pattern. pattern. If you don't use Ravelry, <laughs> uh, I'd, be, I'd like to know. because like Pay Hip, Kofi, yeah. Etsy. We'd like to know. All over the place, we'd so. like to love crafts, isn't it, as well? We'd like, yeah. to, we'd like to sell our patterns. Maybe in 2024 we'll move to an, an extra platform as well. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on with the knit alongs. We've also got our scrappy sock along, which will lead us into yeah. the next... Um, item of admin. So the Scrappy Sock Along has been going on since the 1st of March this year and will end on leap year, the 29th of February, um, when the grand prize will be drawn. We've been picking prizes every quarter um, and sending some minis. I don't think we've got any chosen, actually chosen for this. Um, we've chosen a pattern, we've chosen a winner. We've randomly selected a winner, haven't we? But, <coughs> excuse me, the minis will be, they were beautiful, <laughs> but we haven't gotten to, sh to show yeah. you today. So this is the winner. The winner is um, a lady called The Mother Thing on Ravelry, and she's knit some scrappy, twisty, I've never seen this pattern sock. before. Um, and it's, they're all knit out of um, Christmas past. The yarn from Christmas past. <laughs> we thought that was really appropriate uh, and really, really unusual. Mm. Um, I like those. Yeah. I think I did go and look at... I saw them uh, in the group and then I went and um, looked at the pattern. Mm. But I don't know. I'm, uh, I do... My next scrappy pair are going to be scrappy self-striping. So I'm going to do... Get all my random oh, yeah. self striping and do like no the, each set of colours will be a separate and mm. a different style striping self striping yarn. Anyway, and then we picked our winner. So we had to pick a winner from last month, didn't we? From Twin Set and Pearl. What Twin Set and Pearl pattern are you knitting? And um, Kim Bayron is knitting a Morton Street, and I just love that yarn. I think it looks beautiful. Yeah. So the Morton Street cowl. The slip stitch pattern is really, really um need to knit another one of those. Yeah, definitely. I've knit I've knit about five. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need me. I need yeah. to knit one because I gave mine away. So Kim, we'll put your your name on stuff will be in the your Ravelry name will be in yeah, the so if you two show notes. But if you get in touch get in touch and we both. will Yeah, so one's for a physical prize and the other one is for a pattern. Oh, yeah. Great. So it's not doesn't have to be one of our patterns, it can be any pattern. Mm -hmm. But just get in touch and let yeah. us know which pattern you'd like and yeah. we, will, we will sort that out. Yeah. So what do you want to do next? FO is, is it? On what you're wearing? Well, what we're wearing is my FO. You're what you're wearing is my oh, right. FO. And yeah, do that, do FO. Or do you want to do new patterns? Um, I put the wrong thing on the sock blocker. Okay, we'll do... Well, actually, this is better to show not on the sock blocker. Yeah. So coming out know, this weekend... And it, as in, sorry, next Friday is my next pattern from the Botanical Yarn Twin Set and Pearl Sock Club. And it's the June pattern, which I can't actually remember the name of. 
Can you remember the name? Nope. Well, it'll be in the show notes. Yeah. Anyway, this pair... But you're going to have to tell me because I won't be able to write it down from watching the podcast. I might <laughs> add it. I might just add some text in here as well. Mm. But then if you look look on Instagram or on Ravelry, they'll be out on Ravelry on Friday. And, and it'll be a new pattern if you look at these. Well, on your... So the, these were actually designed by Jo, weren't they? I was just looking how, how like the baggies they are. Yeah. But it's not it lace, is it? It's... No, it's uh, like a mock cable, mm. a faux cable with garter stitch down the front. And these were for June. And I've got a feeling it was something to do with magnolia. I had heaven, happy kisses or something like that. Mine was Magnolia Heaven, but that was last month. That was May. Yeah. No, this was these are Happy Kisses. I think they're called Happy Kisses because it looks like an X. Yeah. And then they've got a little bit on the back, of the same. So it's a nice simple pattern, mm. and will look nice in a multiple and different types of yarn. Yeah, I and, think. If, and I think as well, if you didn't put it on the back, it is quite a unisex. Yeah, I mean, not in peach necessarily. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying men don't want to wear peach, peach socks. But, but yeah. So, yeah. So they will be coming out on Friday. Friday, and there'll be a little discount. Or shall I just add them straight? I'd to add the, them straight into the buy, buy one, one get one free. free. Just for the yeah, because Christmas Day is the Monday. Yeah. Perfect. I'll add them into the buy one get one free. So and then after that, they'll obviously be part of the podcast bonus. Which we haven't mentioned, so yeah. If you oh, I haven't the podcast, added the I haven't added the ebook to the podcast bonus. So I have finally. Have we did I have done have I done that? No, no. <laughs> I finally set up ebooks for the Botanical Yarn Sock Club. So I've done them in groups of three, so four parts per year. So this completes part two, which isn't up yet. Part two of twenty twenty three. So I will do all that. And I will add those to the, they are in the thingy at the moment, aren't they? They're in the, in the buy one, get one free. Yes. So you can get, you can get six patterns for £9 at the moment if you put two ebooks. If you only do those at the same time, if you do them with yeah, other things, other things will be yeah, cheaper. Yeah, the cheapest two things will be yeah. free, so. So just, yeah. Cool. Cool. So you've ruined your... Uh, I'm sorry, my styling, my stylist. <laughs> it needs a, it does need a, a block. Yeah, because it's quite and it's quite wonky. <laughs> well, it's very warm because it's mohair. <laughs> right. So, so these, are, this is my fo. So Simon is my pattern that's currently being tested, and has um, been shown on here. Hasn't it? Yeah, it's been shown here lots of times. Um, the first, the first version was this red. Or dark orange and cream version, which is blood orange and cloud from um, Knitting for Olive in their mer in the merino yarn. It's a beautiful yarn. I absolutely love it. It's very cozy. Um, and this is the second sample that I knit, which is in the green. Is Knitting for Olive. Do you want me to take it off? You can do. Show them. Knitting for Olive. Um, a bit closer up. Marino. You've had it as an I've oh, had it for as a, a win. win in the colour bottle green, and then the mohair is a creme key, That's lovely. Um, and it's just a number, and I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but it's, it's been in the show notes before. Yeah, and so I finished that um, while I was away in Florida. Um, you're knitting mohair in Florida. Yeah, it's right in the air conditioning in the apartment <laughs> in the house. Um, but yeah, but this is so it's like an all over slip stitch garter stripe that gives you this dog tooth, and it's so cushy, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. So it's being tested at the moment. Um, one of my work. One of Rachel. Rachel's, Rachel's actually testing. I'm so sorry. And yeah, we can put it back on. So well, how I how I actually oh, yeah, I wear it fine, is so. I fold over the the top about that much, about three inches, mm -hmm. um, just because it gives you a bit of a firmer edge. And then if I'm wearing, if I'm putting it on myself, mm -hmm. I 
would wrap that ball around mm -hmm. and then oh I'd rather wear it like that and tied up I think and then that side I'll wear it, I'll wear it like that and then if I'm wearing it on my coat I mm -hmm. tie it like that yeah and you might have noticed that I'm wearing glasses again these I had my eyes tested after having my cataract surgery and this eye hasn't been 100% corrected so I have distant, I can, I'm fine without them, but for sharpness, I have these. And Joe asked me to wear them so that we were twinnies again. <laughs> I, um, and you will see me um, put my readers on oh, if I yeah. need to read anything. I will put my new reading glasses mm. on. Are you talking about that as well now? This is my FO, other FO. But don't I get to talk about an FO? Okay, yes. Well. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realise you had one. I got two. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you very much. So I have knitted my dad, out of all the Christmas yarn and everything I had, this is the one he picked for what he wanted me, the socks he wanted for Christmas. What are you doing with that hook? Sorry. So this is um, a self -striping, commercial self-striping yarn. Oh, sorry. Before we um, go on to socks, yeah. the Simon Shaw is being tested at the moment. We're hoping it's going to be launched on the 12th. January, yeah, which is Simon's, Simon's birthday. <laughs> so, yeah, so I have knitted two, <laughs> and um, so this is Katia concept. I started these since I last we last podcast, so you won't see. But I, I did have this as a effort as a acquisition at some point. It's Kaisler. And it's in the colourway 300. And this is all I had left. And I had to do a little bit of... Do you send it to him to darn? I do, yeah. So when I got to the gusset, I did the gusset. And then when I went to pick up my stitches... The heel flap. You did the heel yeah, flap. Yeah, when I did the heel... <laughs> my God. <laughs> What are you talking about, woman? <laughs> when I got, did the heel flap, I got to here and I was picking up my stitches and I realised there was a knot and they'd changed the cut. The next colour was going to be this blue, pale blue colour. Oh, so I didn't that. want that. So I decided to wind it on a bit and go with what the stripe, the next stripe would be on the front, which is the grey again. And I actually think it looks quite nice. Beige. Okay, that's beige. That's caramel. Okay. Joanna's much better with colours than me, so beige and camel. <laughs> and then... In this light, anyway. Yeah, and then I finished that one. And then when I got... I did the same. So I ma managed to match them. I wound it forward. I managed to match them and did the same thing when I got to the heel on, on this one. But when I got to the toe, unfortunately, You'd run out. I'd run out of yarn and I had no beige left. So I had to do a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, so those will be going. In the How about we call it a caramel toe? Caramel. And I asked him, and he said I could show them on the podcast before I posted them to him for Christmas, seeing as after um, a few little chats about something else, he's already had an extra present. <laughs> so. Yes. I'm going to post them tomorrow when I go into Oxford. But I did thoroughly enjoy knitting them, and the it's a ten row stripe, so, so it makes it easy yeah. for counting. Well, it makes it easy for counting, but it also you want to get on. To, you always want to get onto the next stripe. And I like that little bit of light in between. Yeah, the, it's quite nice. Yeah, I thought I bought two. It always of makes the transition better because you don't get that step. Mm. Yeah, I, I couldn't see a step. No, they're quite nice. It's and it's lovely. It's got alpaca in it. Mm. It's um, I am going to move my other glass. Do you want me to read yeah. it? Um, right way round is always helps. Sixty-five percent wool, twenty-five percent polyamide, ten percent alpaca, and it's four hundred meters. Four hundred meters. So I can't quite. I mean, I've done. Um. I usually have a bit more than that left. Yeah, most of this 425 though, isn't it? Yeah, and also he does like, it is like knitting two sleeves, as I've said, yeah. many times. So, now it's 
hat ever. Yeah, we've both got a hat. Yeah. So I wanted a hat to go with this shawl. I knit a cream cashmere beanie, mm -hmm. but I wasn't. You still well, it's quite thin. It's in four ply. Had it's in you that finished way. that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's. You showed it as a whip last yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and then I was in um, No Frills picking up something that I'd ordered and I saw this yarn and I was like, I have to. So it's an acqua, this is an acquisition and, a, and an FO. It, I, I have steamed oh, it. Yeah. Not, it needs a good, it needs a good block. Joe's um, local yarn store is No Frills. Yeah. Knitting. So this colour is pomegranate in the Knitting for Olive Merino. And this pattern is ease well e was by um Kate e Davies. E A S W A S E Ease was and it's um to do with angles that are created by eaves or something oh. like that. Um it's a Scottish word apparently, Chris didn't know what it was. <laughs> um Anyway, it's double knitting, so I held the fingering weight double and um, I, it's twisted stitches to create this star pattern and then the top of the hat is Beautiful. like that. So it, it, I, block, I have steam blocked it. You like, you wanted a... I wanted a tight beanie yeah. with no... I wanted it to no be... No point, no... Cone Not, head. Yeah, I don't want to be a cone head. That's better, isn't it, than it yeah. was? But it still needs. From um, the front, you can't really see. What that. does it look like from the from the crown? The crown looks lovely. I'm not quite sure how you're going to get rid of those those. Well, I don't know if I need to. No. But I think wearing it will. Your head's yeah. so small. I think. <laughs> my, I think that let might me be put the, it on. I'll stretch I think it out. that might be the problem. Did because you? in the picture, mm -hmm. that is like the whole of the top of her head, mm. and it's not the top. No. Of, so either I've knit it on the wrong Do you want gauge. Me to try it on? You either um, I've knit it on the wrong gauge, but I think it goes lovely with that without being too, without being matchy. Do you know what I mean? But you. Um, well, did you steam it and then put it on your head? Yeah. That's what you, that's what you were going to do. That's what I did do. No, I've still got... Um, yeah. We've got a lot of stuff at the back. A <laughs> lot going on. <laughs> yeah, so well, I just got... A, 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 I should have knit it on a, on a 3.25. I don't know. I don't know. No. I think you just have to wear it and that's it. That's the way it's going to be. Yeah. Look. But I, I think I'm going to knit one for Dad. So nice and thick. Yeah, I've got some double knit knitting yarn from um, Bird Street, and I'm going to add in a repeat. Mm -hmm. um, and hope. Or I was thinking I could add a stitch either side of like the middle or something. Yeah. Well, but that would be. That there you could yeah but that would be that would be 12 stitches rather than yeah. 22 stitches yeah that would be better so yeah and then up here you could just, just you could just do them together before you do the yeah so um that looks so complicated compared to my hat <laughs> but i absolutely loved it and you know how um i mean it's it's I'll, i think I'd, i'm gonna add a bit to the rib for dad as well i'll probably make it the rib that looks that long yeah um but it's he'll turn it up whatever you do will he yeah well, he can't he won't need to will no. he he won't need to it's so funny because it'll sit mm. i knit that size yeah so it's 50 rows and then you do the decreases yeah but it's just like you just want to keep it's a cap isn't it yeah rather than a... but i really like it and i think it's going to be nice inside what a difference my... in length it's compared to it's going to be nice inside my hood of my coat it comes down over my ears whereas he probably wants it like that doesn't he to yeah. come above his ears yeah and his big head so it might be it might work actually yeah. maybe i'll just do that and knit, knit it again then right so that's mine's like six inches before you get to the 
Not that much different. Anyway, so I've knitted another the Twix, not the Twix Miss Hat, Twist Miss Hat. And I bought, and you'll see, and I should I should have brought, maybe I should have brought the other dress of the yarn. I didn't. What did I? No, I just bought the labels. I had a little wool warehouse purchase and cast this on straight away. So it is actually pale pink. And the, it's knitted in DK held with mohair. And the DK is um, cotton metallicized DK by fashion cotton metallicized DK by, by Ro Rico, sorry, I can't speak, in the colour 007. And it's just, it, it's just fun. And then the mohair is also Rico Essentials Kid Mohair and Silk. In the colour, yeah, 009. 009. And I really like this pattern, um, I like the crown. I like the fact that you decrease really quickly. Um, is this is the sparkle in the mohair or no. in the cotton in the yarn? It's in the, the, the yarn. mohair is actually quite a pink, right? Pink, pink. pink. Apologies just being here. My husband making a cup of coffee. And um, yeah, so I should try. It. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I thought it would be nice with my navy blue coat. Yeah, and a bit of sparkle, and there's lots more sparkle to come. <laughs> Yay! So, yeah, so that's just the Christmas hat again. This year, the hat of the year, because last year it was another hat that I knitted loads. Oh, the Bonjour High mm. hat. I knitted loads of those, and I, I do, I do wear them. <laughs> right, let me. I'll put my hair back on. Right, whips. So, onto whips because we don't want I'm, this to take too long. No, then. and I've had a bit of a cast on itis, and I've gone from three whips to seven whips in a week. So well, I'm very. I'll start. We can start in groups. I'll start. I've got one finished. I've got the yarn left over from what I held double of that pomegranate. So whether I've got enough to knit another one, but I've also got some left over from this. You can probably and do I'm a gonna match. I'm going to put them all together and knit. Something else. No, you probably be able to knit a hat out, a four, four ply hat. Yeah. Um, so I've got two pairs of Bridgerton socks. Um, I have worked on both of them since the last mm. podcast. I've got Anthony. Are we doing socks first, do we? I just thought I'd very quickly show these and don't have to. They've been talked about so many times on the show, on the um, podcast, because they're very, very, pardon me, old whips. So this is Anthony. I'm onto the heel flap, um, and um, yeah, what can I say about Anthony? We love Anthony, <laughs> but I just am not in a sock. And he's knitted in Alberta. Oh uh, yeah, so he's, um, but they've, it's been shown so many times. And then the other one I'm knitting is Christmas at Bridgerton. Um, I'm, I'm a, I've got I finished the leg. Um, well, I can go through mine pretty quick as well because yeah. I'm missing both of those. Finish the leg and I'm about to, to do the heel flap. So, um, and they're both in that little bag. They're both in this little um, clutch from Petite Knit um, in the Praline Seersucker. That's all I've got left. Well, I've got to start the second ball of the Arvetta. Mm -hmm. Um, so once I've got the second ball of that, they're not going to fit in there. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so I, this, these are all new cast-ons since this, um, for this month. So I have knitted my Bird Street, started my Bird Street yarn for, for December. And I'm knitting Anthony. And I have finished the first one. Oh, that's a good in gingerbread martini and I'm actually knitting 
the 72 stitch count for the muffins because the cable does, they fit the 64, but the cable mm. does pull them in. So that's gingerbread martini, and I am on the gusset of my the same yarn that I knit. Um, yeah. Page, no. page, yeah. I'm on. I'm on the gusset. Um, just started the gusset. But my yours one. is this year's, right? No, mine's from last year. Oh right, yours seems lighter than mine. Mm. Yeah, so I'm I'm on the gusset of my second one. And so you're ahead of me, and I've knitted another and one. You've knitted <laughs> another one. Um, and they are living in a new acquisition, which is I got my all my sock whips just happen to be in so yarn delicious so, um, <laughs> sock sacks, and this is my new Christmas one that arrived. I pre-ordered it. And Lovely. But I've meant to, I want, really wanted to finish them, but I have had, yesterday I was, had a bit of a rough day and I slept all afternoon, didn't really touch them, and then I slept all the way in the car, much to my husband's joy. <laughs> we didn't have um, lots of reminiscing of our marriage from <laughs> the last 13 years I slept, but he did buy me a card this year. Did you get him a card? No, we never do it. We <laughs> never get each other cards. Oh. And he, um, oh, don't ginger anybody. <laughs> so the next one I cast on was Christmas at Bridgerton, which I did when I finished Dad's. I cast these on. So I'm just on the gusset of the first one of those. But I think it looks beautiful in this yarn, mm. which is sparkling peppermint from last year's. Botanical yarn Christmas oh, collection, and it's got sparkle as you'd expect it. on the name, and it is beautiful. But I'm not doing the pattern on the back. Did she do sparkly peppermint without the sparkle? On she did. On not sparkle. Yeah, she did. So I'm and I'm just on the gusset of those, and I'm, I was I've wound up the mini, but I'm not. I've decided I'm going to do them all one colour, and I'll use that for something else. Mm. So that's a quick. Can I have a look at the leftovers for my um, northeast view? Or a little bit of your leftovers? Yeah. Thank you. And then I, in my autumn fair, I bought oh, this. You've both got a hoodie. Oh, I bought this um, yarn, pixie <laughs> yarn. Um, I think it was 2021. It was the first, it was Christmas flock. Oh, she wow. bought it to me at Christmas flock. Whoa, um, and I picked the mini. She brought all the minis, all the colours that are in it, and I picked this mini. And this is Candy Cane, and it's a 50 gram sock set. Um, so I wound them into two 25 gram balls, and I've literally knitted a tube. Again, I cast on 72 stitches, no cuff at all, although I might crochet around the top with the, with the, the, wrong, with yeah. the contrast. And then I've done the toe in the contrast. I knitted the whole tube, done the toe in the contrast, and then I'll go back and put the heels in when I've finished both socks. Yeah, so that's and that's how it knits up like a micro stripe. It's very um, oh. lovely, yeah, and it's lovely to. Um, Is it that do... knit up? It it's doesn't not, look no. as bright, does it? No, because the dark, the dark red and green are together. And then yeah. the brighter, it looks brighter, I think. Mm. But it's still lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm hoping to finish them for Christmas Day. I'd like to wear them on Christmas Day. Mm. But I am having a birthday cast on tomorrow. Yes, and me. My birthday cast on is then. I don't think you bought there. mine, have you? What? We look at Barbie. Yeah. Oh, it's upstairs. No, it's fine. It, I'll show it next time. Yeah. We're not sure when we're going to podcast next. But. And they, those three, are living in my Mrs. Brown's bag. <laughs> um, tote, tote, yeah. So they can they get carried around, and I work on whichever one I fancy. <laughs> I 
Well, I'm going to have to have a push this week if I want to finish a pair of them for before me. No, not before you, just for Christmas. But for the moment, I'm a little bit obsessed with this. You should be finishing Christmas at Bridgerton. I know. I think when they announced that Bridgerton wasn't coming, I got a bit demoralised. Yeah. Um, anyway, so in my um, fat squirrel bag is my olive cardigan by Hoagie Locatelli. And I am knitting it in Laxton's BFL Mashem. From that beautiful yarn you bought it. Yeah, so I bought this at Yarn Dale, and it's ab I just love it. I wound it. I wound this ball yesterday. Let me get this cute skirt to go in it. Oh, so cutie! I love it. Um, and last time I mentioned this, it was two podcasts ago. The one before the one we went to Norway. Went so three Norway. podcasts ago. Yeah. And I hadn't joined for the sleeves, for the underarms at that point. Um, and so I've it's a very unwieldy shape to show on the podcast, but I've um, done the back and the two fronts, and I've now joined under the arms, and I've knit a good, a good three inches. Yeah, I was say, good three inches. Um, and it's basically it's a twelve row. There's a, you do a little bit, so you get an extra garter. Need to hold it. You do a little bit so you get an extra garter bump on the front to make it um, the not, garter work. Not go weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good technical term. Because obviously um, garter and stocking stitch don't have the same big gauge. That's I've moved it onto a... Oh, that's where I've joined the two to right, okay. together, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just need to make pull one one way or one the other. Um... And yeah, and it's it's lovely um, yarn to knit with. It's going to be quite a lightweight card yeah. I think. Um, mine is, I need to steam block it. Um, before you do the sleeves. Before I do the sleeves. Yeah. But I chose to knit the medium large size, which is a 52 inch finished bust. Finish bust. Um, but the it's got a, on the picture the, the shoulder is very dropped and I don't think I'd appreciated that but I actually right. like it yeah so I don't know whether I would want a big a lot of fabric if you know what I mean yeah um so yeah so it's it's, lovely. it's open isn't it it's yeah not, yeah and it fits I've tried it on um it's obviously more difficult to see with it curling yeah and um and I guess I'll be able to block a little bit into it if I really wanted to. But, but yeah. That's lovely fabric. Yeah, that's beautiful to knit. And um, I think I did two repeats um, yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's obviously knitting one side, purling the other as it's flat. Um, but yeah, I don't mind purling. <laughs> So I've got, quite two, like fairly. I've got two sweaters on the easel. I have not um, finished my out. I can't remember calling it my outtake tea. It's a key side tea. What's wrong with me? You've not got a lot to do. Have you got so no, out. So I finished the front and did the three needle bind off of the shoulders. So I've got to pick up, I've got to do an I-cord, pick up and do an I-cord round the neck. Um, although I quite like that, to be honest. Mm. I don't think it necessarily needs an I-cord. No. And then I've got to try it on, and I was hoping maybe we, took it, we could do that, work out where I want the armholes to be. Mm. And then I've got to seam. Do you know what you could do? What? Just like tack it and have the side open. I don't. I, I don't mind. What I was thinking was, I don't know if I really want this armhole. I think I oh. want the arms to be that. Yeah. Well, I would just maybe tack it so that you can have it open or sew it like that much. Yeah. So you've got that bit. Yeah. 
I think that was fine. Because I want it to be like I bought, knitted it as an over. Yeah. Um, I, and then you also block it. Yeah. I, do, I just do that. I just sew like. I block it then then do that. Yeah, block it and then just sew up like between two. Yeah, that's a good idea. As long as you get the same two on each side. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can. Even I can. <laughs> But yeah, so it's quite. Wide. I don't know. I, this is the person who, when I did my alpine bloom, I knit one sleeve cuff longer than the other. And I yeah. put it on picket. If I yeah. count rows and write them down, yeah. cross them off. But that's not counting rows, is it? That's just counting. Well, it's up. counting stripes. It's not yeah. like it's so difficult. Anyway, I think that would be. Yeah. I think that would be nice. Yeah. So it's. It, I did it. I did size six, which is. Bigger than I would knit if it was a sweater. Yeah. Yeah, so it needs to be blocked. And then, but the fabric is lovely and it's mm. knitted in Rowan felted tweed. It's been mentioned many times what the colours are and I didn't bring the things with me, just brought the thing. So, yeah, so it's nearly done. Cool. And then I, instead of finishing that, I was wearing, um, what's your name? I was wearing. A... Oh, we're just moving on to you, are we? Oh, I thought you'd finished your whips. No. Carry on. Sorry. I was doing a second no, sweater. No, I'm, I'm actually being I'm actually being flippant. Carry I was on. doing a second sweater. Well, how many more whips have you got? I've got um, one more whip. Oh, I've got two more whips, so I might as well do one extra. Now. It's not very really long because it's. Um, don't worry, I'm, I was actually being. Because you you had to get me a bit a little bit earlier for moving on to my hat when you've got an FO. So I was just I think having a go is a bit strong. Well, anyway, <laughs> chill. I was wearing. I knitted a a long time ago now, in like twenty nineteen, a. Um, sweater that we've knitted we both knitted called love pecan but i put a turtleneck on it and i knitted it in drops nord and i was wearing it the other I've day i've never worn my love pecan haven't you no, i don't like it at all oh, you did it in, you did yours in stripes don't like it no i did a summery one in it's a t-shirt um i did it in fl drops flora and then i knitted a stripey one in cotton and then i knitted a a long sleeve one and then i did this one in drops Nord in the charcoal colour. I put long sleeves, turtleneck. Love it. I was wearing it the other day. Thought, oh, I really want a navy blue one. So I went upstairs to the cubby with the uh, sweater quantities in. I thought, well, I'm sure I've got enough drops Nord in navy blue to knit one. And I didn't. But in that cubby is my favourite yarn stash, my a stash of my favourite yarn which is a sock yarn by Katia called Merino Tweed. It's been discontinued and I bought everything that my local yarn store had when I knew that it was not being made and this is like a beige, so I, I ran it into a ball because it was annoying me, um, a beige colour with flecks in oh, well, I've got, and I've I, got a pair of socks in that haven't I? That looks a lot lighter doesn't it? Mm. I, no, knitted, it I knitted, I knitted, um, my Nordiska in it, which I brought for Joe to borrow. And I thought to myself, why are you hoarding that yarn? Knit it into a beautiful sweater that's, it's so soft already. And when you wash it, I've knitted socks in it. I've got a pair of socks, haven't I? Mm, I think so. My whistle down socks were in it. Mm. And it just makes, it goes ever so slightly, well, it folds out, mm. doesn't it? Blooms. Blooms. And yeah, so I started off with a love pecan. And then I thought to myself, um, I actually want to do, I don't know if I want to do the same numbers. So I'm actually using the numbers from the Arwen by Isabel Kramer. And, but I'm not doing the lace. And I'm, I've moved the rows around a bit so that, because you do quite a large block of the lace like without 30 rows without any increases so I've kind of tweaked it a bit but I've just done the third increase and there's six in sets of increases so now I've just got to knit in between four inch turtleneck 
and I've got four balls, um, which now I'm knitting bigger sizes because I'm a bigger girl. Um, if it's not enough, I've got some black, which I can, was thinking of doing stripy feed. Mm. So but that's still the first ball. So maybe get the, if I get the yoke out of what, one ball. What tweed's in the black? Is it white? Yeah. Right. So I haven't, the black is, if you can reach some of the Nordiscus in the colour work. And when I, now I've seen the Nordiscus, I love, um, the, I love the neck on that. Mm. So, and the green on that is um, Debbie Bliss. Mm. It's the same colour as my new maid. Um, anyway, yeah, so that I started... Just show the neck on this, Sue, if you love it. Yeah, I do. I love that V-neck. Um, so I, I want to get this done so that I can wear it in, but you know, January, February time. And I'll just show my progress keeper was a gift from, as a set of five from the lovely Sally. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Joe jo, jo did give them to me. And that is Libby in my, in a bag I bought from White Stuff. It's lovely and pretty mm. and very pretty inside but yeah so that's the sweater whip i want to knit on but now we've lessened my finishing of the quayside tea i think it will be mm. done sooner right so this whip is my latest design are you allowed to show that anyway well, I think it's up to me whether I show it or not. Okay. It's going to need testers fairly soon. The yarn's not yeah. um the yarn's not the new No. As in the um, and I'm keeping it in my Willow Bay bag, which is a beautiful needle cord. It's a gorgeous bag. Yeah, I'm not sure you've um, ever shown it, were you? I don't know if I have. It probably turned up in between mm. um and I forgot about it. Um, but it's lovely. This was like an autumnal um, purchase when I when I saw it. I was like, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and this shawl is knit in wool decanted yarn. Um, and this colour is called Island Dusk. It's beautiful. Um, I think it's a it is a new it's a it's a new to their range colour. Yeah, it's their, but it has been it's not their plant base. Is it? No, plant it has been it. launched, and I am knitting um, a cable present floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got moss stitch above and below, and then it has a cable panel. It looks lovely, doesn't it, on the, on the yeah, camera? Yeah, it up a little. So. Um, and it's you've designed it this way, haven't you? After you show just shown how you wear them. Yeah, because this bit gets scrunched up. Even if you don't fold it over, yeah, that bit kind of gets scrunched up around your neck. So this bit will be this bit. Yeah, right. And I'm calling it Hillary <laughs> after my auntie Hillary, who one of her um, jobs that she had was she used to knit cable sweaters and sell them in America um, and I thought that was appropriate in like the 70s and the 80s yeah and um, unfortunately she passed away a couple of years ago yeah. and um, I think that's a lovely um, yeah tribute, tribute to, her. to her so um, it's got this um, I think it's called a like an antler cable up the middle and um, a little pattern on either side can I hold it that way? Very nice. Uh, and then a moss stitch. So um, I've just... Um, and this is launching at Unravel. Yeah, in, Feb in, in February. February. So the test call for this will come at the beginning of January. Um, yeah. yeah, lovely. That's going to be two skeins, do you think? I think it's going to be three. These are coming fifty grams, mm -hmm. so it will be. And there's a lot of meterage 
on this yarn. So it'll be three, um, two skeins so of four, two skeins normal, of four point eight. Um, but it's love. This yarn is beautiful to work with. Um, and lightweight. Mm. It looks soft. It looks um quite. I don't know, I don't know if it's the moss stitch, mm. but quite um a, a bit of a halo and yeah, um like already cushy. Yeah. yeah. Cushy, squishy. <laughs> I don't know what the yeah. So in between. Correct. Um, I do a bit of this in the morning, and then knit on the olive during. That's what I'm planning for next week. Meetings. Meetings. Maybe socks for a little bit the first thing. Maybe that in the evening and the olive in the day. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get through. But I can write the pattern for that. I've got the chart for the for the lace for the cable, and then yeah, so that can that can get written up. Oh, you've got one more FM. One more whip. No, I've got two. I've got two shawls. Oh, right. So I ha my first one is my sassel, just to show you my progress on my sassel, which I have been loving. And it's that way round. And the star marks well, how much I've done, excuse me, since the last podcast. Oh, wow. So I'm now on the middle. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> the middle. Um, I'm on the middle section, which is no increases. And do you that's big enough? Oh, the bottom. Oh, yeah. And it's um, so I've done that much since. And the middle section has all three colours of mohair in it. And I'm on my second ball of flora. Is flora got alpaca? Yeah. It's going to grow when it's washed. Yeah. And it's, it was really funny the other day, Joe was, they stopped off on their way back from Gatwick. And I was saying to her that I'd been knitting him really, him, Cecil, really slowly because I couldn't find my other, <laughs> my other three balls of um, dropped flora. And she, she was sat on the other side of the room and she went, do you mean the ones in that bin over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we can be full steam ahead. Nice. But I'm loving him. And you were worried that that light colour wasn't going to show up and it's lovely. Yeah, and it's lovely. And I also haven't changed the needle size. I realised that my yarn fabric on just flora on its own is lovely. So, yeah. So, okay. yeah, and they're living in a in my beautiful butternut handmade mm. floral stairs and boxes, which we talked about last time. And now we have my latest whip, my shawl whip, which is my that's a nice bag. Yeah, this bag Sophie bought me back from Rhinebeck for knitting the. I always felt like it's been like sock samples. Face, so it's, it? Yeah, it's printed. It's on the bottom's like a waxed. I put the thing inside. Has it been? Was it quilted and then printed? I don't know. Because the pattern it goes over the. Yeah, yeah must have printed. Must have quilted the fabric. Yeah. So I am knitting. Is it right? I'm getting the next thing inside. Oh right. Okay. I did think to bring it so that I could. I left it in the bag. Makers of bags. Put your put your information on the outside. Everybody wants to be able to show off. Yeah, so it's good. Who's made their bag? So that's the that's the that's the that. Krista Jekyll. Yeah, so it is on the inside. Well, and wow, everybody everybody's going mad apparently for them. Well, I can see why. Yeah, it's beautiful. and it's a lovely little tote. And so I'm knitting my Simon. I might have to get her to um, get me one next year when she goes. Yeah. Now we know they exist. Because um, I've been hit by a few customs charges <laughs> recently. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be ordering anything from abroad for a while. No. So, I'll just whisk them in a bit. So. 
I, my main colour is Polar Morn by Malabrigo in the sock yarn. And then my um, Bazaar Ball I'm using, I think, is called Jumping Shadow. Can you hold that up? Okay. Everybody. Jumping shadows. I put I did the translation for You're you. You're gonna get um some really high contrast bits. Yeah. And then so at the moment it is I'm on section I've nearly finished section two and it is doing that. It's not the right side. That's the one. <laughs> so it's done that. Um and then now it's going into this pink again after the after mm. that bit closes. Nice. So it will be when it gets big, obviously the bigger it gets, the shorter the colour change. So but I'm really enjoying him. <laughs> and Tess it's going well, isn't it? Yes, it is. So Cecil is now in five minutes of knitting. five minutes of knitting. <laughs> 30 minutes of knitting. You're going to do half a row. <laughs> 30 minutes of knitting and um, Simon's in proper rotation. Simon's proper afternoon knitting. And um, so we, we're um, Monday, Tuesday, we're, we're a week in. So I think you're doing pretty well. Yeah. Other people have done before then. So, right. So that's all my Got whips. Four weeks. That's all my whips. Yeah. Should, we, should we open our... Let's talk about that. Yeah. And then... Are we at the very end? Well, no, we'll talk about the beginning of the episode. Don't, oh, right, okay. Yeah, good point. Sorry, I haven't thought about that. I love acquisitions. We'll <laughs> so I our, don't think about people And we'll like open it. our advents. They might be interested in that. Yeah. And then we'll do, like, do the acquisitions. Yeah. So, we thought we would have a birthday gift away. Are we putting with the... Um, yeah, can show them the Are we putting that in with that? Yeah. So, Joe and I have picked some yarn out of our stashes. Joe's made a beautiful progress keeper for whoever wins. If I can, is it a stitch marker or a progress? It is a progress keeper. I can't see it. Looks like I'm looking. Stupid. Sorry, let me snatch. Stupid distance vision. <laughs> Not having very. So it's. Some fresh water pearls Beautiful. and some semi precious. I'm quite Christmassy. Little beads and quite Christmassy. It's not too he not too heavy either. No, but we're not gonna. Well, we maybe we could. No, we don't want a podcast do it at Christmas. No. And so for the, so these are from Joe's stash. Please, do we want to mention the Zoom? Oh yeah. <laughs> As well, before people yeah. might rush off yeah. and not watch. Did that first then? I completely. I didn't put that on my list of things to talk about. God. So right. on the twenty third, we're going to have a Zoom. Zoom with as many of you guys who would like to join us. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be at eight pm GMT. To hopefully mean that people in America and, and Australia India can watch early morning or afternoon or lunchtime wherever they are, and. I was not, I was going to, I wasn't, I was having an hour about mentioning it on Instagram. Because I think it would be nicer if it was people who watch the podcast. Mm. And we were thinking of something that, like, obviously people will be knitting, hopefully, when they, while they're watching, mm. while we're talking, while we're chatting. But what were we thinking that they could bring to show their favourite yarn? Their favourite yarn. And you don't have to speak. I mean, we you can just listen to the chat. We're not like forcing everybody to be. You know, we think you'd be quite social though if you join. Mm. If you want to join, if you if you even <laughs> contemplating joining. <laughs> so, but yeah, if you don't, yeah. if you don't want to sit, if you don't want to talk, you can just sit and watch everybody yeah, else. And but to bring else. your favourite skein of yarn, colourway or you know yarn type, type or whatever yeah. you fancy. Yeah, and we can go around and chat about it as well as what we're knitting and you know thing I just like to hear about things like 
what people are what their plans are mm. for Christmas Day and I know not everyone celebrates Christmas and but it is a chat just a chat for every, everyone to join in and we can all talk about how disappointed we are about Bridgerton <laughs> if yeah if you are disappointed about <laughs> Bridgerton <laughs> So, cool. so yeah, so the information about that will be in the show notes. Yeah, and I've already set up the Zoom. So the link will be in the show yeah. notes. And right? I've done a cheeky month's trial of Pro, so we get two hours. We can have a, well, I've <laughs> booked it for two hours, which seems like a long time, but we might go over it now. An hour it does go very yeah. quick in those it does. situations. So back to the gift away. So there's three skein 50 gram balls of onion yarn in the nettle, it's nettle sock yarn by onion. Can you see what the, does it have a number? It's not, they're commercial, aren't they? Yeah. Colour 10, 15. 15. So like a new, nice neutral. And then we have a, sorry, I didn't think, a set of six 50 gram, 50 gram. 20 gram minis from Ted Knits UK. It was his one of his, a quarter of his advent from last year. And it's Pillars of Creation. Creation. So we thought that those went, those matched, but wouldn't, it wouldn't wash out any, even the lighter colour would show up still in those. And then and I was thinking that. They would make a lovely maggie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can make an e do an extra bit in the middle, don't yeah. you? Yeah. In all six sizes. And then we have a butternut handmade um, project, bag. project bag, which was donated by the lovely Conchita. And then the, and the progress keeper. And the progress keeper and some, maybe some little chocolates. And I'm thinking the one progress keeper I made for myself goes better with it. Well, it's up to you, but I don't think they're going to necessarily, it does go very nicely with that, but if you don't. I have more, so I can make yeah. another one. Cool. Can I have the Christmas one then? Yep. Thank you. Lovely. Right, so that's the gift away, and I will actually going to put them in the bag. Um, and the other thing I'm going to show before we get on to acquisitions is my birthday cast on. Okay, so that's that, okay. Yeah, so that this can, they can all keep you kept yeah. together. I'm using my other fat girl bag. It's just this gorgeous sweater size with a rabbit on or hair, I guess it is. And I've had to go on another Cecil, and I'm going to do it in this beige yarn that's got camel in. That I'm just going to get the label out of it. Um, it's from Belinda Harris Reed, um, and it is oh, where are we? Fifty percent baby camel and fifty percent silk. Ooh. And I'm is it going, dyed? By um, is that the natural? There. No. no, it doesn't have a colour. So I'm guessing that's the natural, natural colour. Um, I've got two skeins of that, and I my colour pops are going to be. Oh, I didn't bring it. Oh, great job. It's all right. I'll have to um, stop. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I had so much to bring with me. Um, Black Isaiah, alpaca one. Black with sparkle. Um, Debbie Bliss yes. Party yeah. Angel, and then I'm that I've had literally. You bought that before I bought. I've had this for so long. This this one, and I've got a um, Debbie Bliss Angel in black, which I am um, donating or, to the birthday. Or I'm going to see if I can find like a dark plum kid silk haze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't know. I could have all black or. Yeah, I think, I think it's a colour. I think plum would be lovely. Not that I want, don't want to give you my black. But I will see. I'll think about that. Um, you can have my black. 
And the thing I'm struggling with at the moment is finding some 3.75 needles. So I've got a four millimeter prim, mm -hmm. prim carbons. That's what that British is. Um, <laughs> so I might knit it on four millimeters. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll make that much difference, although I've only got 400 meters of each of those. What have you got on your needles then? I've got three, 3.75, these are on 3.75. Uh -huh. And I do have my other Cecil upstairs, my right. summer Cecil. So take your needles off. So I might take the needles off that. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to cast on tomorrow for my birthday. Oh. Good. Cecil. And I thought that bag was just so appropriate. Yeah. Are we going to open the advent? Yes. So part of my exhibition is to show you what I got in my advent so far. Yeah, I didn't bring mine. What was in, What was that? That's from Maggie. That's the extra. The extra. Did you? I had. Do you know what it was? I do know what it is, but I'm not. Oh right. Okay. I had chocolates, which I'm right. Eat. I've already eaten. Okay. <laughs> so mine's from the lovely Maggie. Mine's from Joe. And both the I've got the, the ones I had last the last two weeks. Um, that oh they're upstairs. Um, the ma maple and Zula. Um, cashmere merino cashmere nylon, which is just absolutely beautiful. And then Rachel gave me a skein of Malarigo sock, which is her favourite sock yarn. So I'm very blessed to be. I chose it, and it. then I looked at the the then I looked at the colourway. <laughs> colourway is legend. <laughs> um, and Rachel's came with some beautiful socks, which are upstairs, and some lovely craft papers, which will be used for something paper crafty. Maggie's mm -hmm. came with some beautiful earrings, yeah, which are. Um, for, for my special birthday present, and these little um, oh, they're so tabs to put on your handmade. Yeah, put on your hat, hat. funny. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put them on gifts for people, I think. And then this, so this is yeah. So I've just opened. Joe gave us two little wish. <laughs> this is just it's, it's a quote. And it says, it's good to wish for and look forward to the wondrous things in life. Mary Smart. And then Joe wrote us a card, which are sea salt and for mine. Yeah. And my, can I read it out? Is that okay? Yeah. To Rach, as you indulge in the joy of knitting this holiday season, may your hands create wonders and your heart be filled with happiness. Merry Christmas, lots of it, it has been, they have, and it has been. <laughs> so, these are my other glasses. They're <laughs> navy blue. They must go. Sorry for the pink pin. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> no, she chose it on her own, but. I said it was your favourite. Vanilla fudge. That was definitely you eat it today. So Maggie, Maggie's, been in, Maggie's been in um, New, New Zealand, Zealand for six weeks. So we had our first chat this week and we really missed each other. And, um, oh, is it a stripe? I don't know. Wow, that is bright. Everybody salsa. That's from the strictly. Yeah. And then a beautiful progress keeper. Some wool wash. And what's that? It's a cedar block. Ah. To go in my yeah in a back project bag or something. Yeah. Or in with your with your yarn or very much, Joe. He loves it. Oh, lily cut white progress um stitch markers. I love lily cut white. Mm. I have so my thank you very much, Maggie. They're beautiful. Um, these are the for you, aren't I? Yeah. And um, these are just beautiful. These little little bags. Yeah. With a, I um, gave somebody a present in one. 
<laughs> Exmoor soup. Oh, orange blossom soup, handmade on Exmoor. Oh, that's lovely. I love handmade soup. Put my other soda soup on this now. Yeah. And then the skein of yarn. Oh, fondant fiber. Never heard, never heard of them. Austin. Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon. Oh, Maggie, you have this for you. Yeah. Main <laughs> sale. Oh, is that from America? This is fiber spelled differently. No. Um, that kind of goes with this look. It's four ply as well, which would make me think it's not American. They call it fingering weight. Fingering weight. Fingering weight yeah. um, oh, I've got some beautiful yarn. I'll go with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so how, how much acquisition have we got? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Now, um, we were only planning to do this for an hour. We've already had in 10. Yeah, but we've got... Right, go quick then. Okay. So I had all some... the information from the shop, the, well, basically not all the information. The shops we buy, we buy from will be listed below. Yeah. And... Um, if you have any questions about anything specific, you can always message us. Is that yes. fair enough? Yes. So I did, I, um, somebody was doing a D-stash. Sarah, is it from Power Power? Power? Yeah, Sarah. And Rachel sent me a picture and said, this is right up your street. And I went on and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Mulview Yarn. Um, Bliss. A truly blissful base, fine merino and mulberry silk from in the colourway logwood, 495 metres to 100 grams, and there's four of them. Brilliant. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make. Because How much did you pay? Um, £30. Yeah, I think it was like maybe... No, maybe it was 38 for four. Mm -hmm. um, but Mulview, I don't think they're making yarn anymore, are they? I don't know. To be honest. Anyway, um, I, um, I'm i not sure what I'm going to make with it. But I love it. I think it might be, it would make a nice sweater, but I think it might pill. Yeah. So we'll, um, I don't know if the silk will stop that happening. Be. And then you she sure. also had this lovely skein of um, silk merino lace hedgehog fibres. And that went in. Have well. you had any hedgehogs before? I don't know if I have. Um, but that's um, 700 metres, 50% silk, 50% merino. Mm. So we're on a silk merino uh, yeah. kick. Um, yeah, so that came. And the funny thing was, you I paid her on PayPal, and then I got a notification from. Um, the courier that I, I'd had to go and pick it up from um, tes, tes, the near, Tesco, which is near my work. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I haven't got any parcels coming. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> and I'm, I was like, is it, do you think it's a, um, a fraudulent? I get so many fraudulent emails that I've got a parcel. Yeah. Um, it's and a I, so I, yeah. But I, I looked it up and it, the, Tracking number was right. Yeah. So I went and got it, and it was this. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been receiving quite a lot of parcels because it's our birthday. And this arrived really early one morning, and my husband was like, Oh, parcels. I said, I, don't, I haven't bought anything, honestly. And this beautiful Christmas present, I've opened it though. Mm -hmm. arrived from my lovely friend Karen who is photo 3p on Instagram and if you don't follow her you should because she does amazing hand dyes. she only she seems to post on a Sunday and she's like I don't know she saves up her socks but I think she knits a pair of socks every week mm -hmm. and then she sh shows them in some and this week it's Colin and she dyed it I think it's Sagewood Sagewood Anyway, they're a beautiful colour. Anyway, uh, this year I got so I got a lovely card, um, which she does this cyano printing, and she always puts a gold. She sprays gold, like ginkgo leaves, gold 
She must press them in. Everything is just so beautifully finished off. She can I look at the card? Yeah, everything's finished with all those bags are, have these stickers and some of them have gold on and they're just absolutely stunning. Unfortunately they don't stick very well after you've opened them. So I was thinking I could put them in a I could somehow put them in a book. Mm, that's mm, pretty quick stick. This year, last year I had a little 10 gram skein. This year I got a whole skein of <laughs> indigo dyed yarn, which is beautiful. And has to be, you have to wash it a few times to, before. Well, it will dye your hands blue, but then I can wash the socks a few times before mm -hmm. I actually wear them. And I got a spool of silk ribbon, indigo dyed. A beautiful big lavender bag with cyan printed fabric. Oh, smells wonderful. Mm, I love lavender. I got a little hand knitted, a little sock with some chocolate coins Aww. in and some more chocolate coins, which I'm going to eat in a minute because I'm hungry. <laughs> you um, you put your twigs up so you can hang the sock off your twigs. Yeah, I bought one from last year as well. I think it's Bird Street Yarn. Mm. But, and then these are a progress keeper, the little shell and a glass, which were gathered beach treasure from the Isle of Arran. Oh, wow. that's amazing. So that's a beautiful, so thank you, Karen. I <laughs> love it so much. And everything, the box, I wanted to show, well, it's got my address in the middle, but she printed a, a wreath and then wrote my address yeah. in, my name and address in the middle, but it's <laughs> lovely. So I've had two little purchases from overseas. Can I eat a gold coin on Yeah. That? One was, so I think it was during Rhinebeck. Like the, um, the this list. lady put up a discount code. For people who weren't going. Who weren't going. And I've wanted something of hers for a really long time. And this is Jezebel B. You've got stuff of her. Have I? You've got bags of her. You wanted leather. I haven't got any bag of hers. I thought you had the, they were like beige and got somebody else. I've not got her bags, I promise you. Anyway, this is a little notion, notions pouch and it is just perfect. It, it poppers shut, but it can, it sits on your thing like that. Mm -hmm. And I also bought some leather stitch markers um, and the biggest purchase was a needle case so this also poppers and then it's got a little popper pouch for your cable and, that. and um, that's got um, flexi flips and um, tools the really small tips mm -hmm. and things in because they're it's too they get lost, wouldn't they, down the thing? Yeah. And then, so I've got my tips, and then cables and some fixed needles. Wow. And on there. And it is the most beautiful leather. Um, so is that all you need to take with you on holiday? Yes, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't necessarily take it away. I um, would just take. I don't often go away for long enough yeah. not to take the needles that I'm using, like just take the ones I'm using, but um, I like it, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. And it's, um, she's obviously a knitter because she's designed it. Yeah, perfectly. Um, perfectly. So that was, that That came from Canada. Um, and um, yeah, and then I got something from Canada too. I treated myself to the Grocery Girls Winter Wonderland, Woolly Winter Wonderland kit. So you've got this little tote. Oh, that's cute. And then you've got J D uh, Tracy's new cowl pattern and Frankie Grey Fibers. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, minis, mini skein set wound together and the, the colorway in the pattern, which I do like, but I actually don't like the way she's done the bandana bit. So I'm thinking I might knit something else with it. Like I might do the top bit as a bandana on, on one of your mm. DK patterns. 
Yeah, the everyone's beautiful cowl. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do a few of the mini, but I like I like this, mm, the text. I've not seen the pattern, I don't think. And it came with some sugar scrubs. Mm. Oh, some other stuff that's some squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> some soak, some stickers. For my next year's book. <laughs> And some stitch markers. Oh, cool. And a little tin with the same logo. And they are hearts and. Ooh, that's mine now. <laughs> hearts and things. And then there's a little sheep progress. I oh, know it's a stitch marker. Oh, cute. And um, a lip balm. The tough. The tough. tough. Yeah, in pear and coconut. Oh, nice. And I love it. I bought as well some hand balm and a, another lip balm in sugared mm. peach. I'm sure there's something else, but anyway. Right, moving on, quick. swiftly on. So I also bought, um, I'm going to order this one here. Went to, I ordered some, well, I ordered Rachel's Thursday present. From bed, um, of bed of Roses. I don't know where the other thing bits gone. Ah, oh, there. Um, no, there. So I ordered. Oh, well, well, I was ordering Rachel. She had an offer on as well. Yeah, she had she? no. She had free world free worldwide, worldwide shipping. shipping. And uh, Rachel hasn't had her present yet, so she can't show you it. She'll show you next time. No, but I, I ordered this that. little leather bag, um, which is like a crossbody bag. Mm -hmm. Um, lovely. Actually, no, I've only got to use it at least more of a summer thing. But I've always wanted one of her knee, um, knitters um, necklaces. So I ordered one of those. Um, and it comes with all of these different um, progress keepers and stitch markers. And um, I particularly like the little bird. So yeah, so that's um, it's beautiful, and it's I ordered the turquoise one because that's our birthstone. So that was lovely. Mm. Um, yeah, so that, um, but be warned, there's a large customs charge from things from Norway, so it was reasonably expensive, and then the customs was. Was a big mm. chunk again. It's like a third again of the price. So yeah, be warned. We won't be ordering from there. We again. won't be ordering from there again. Or if we do, we'll get it sent to um, our friend Kate, friend in Norway. She can bring it over. But yeah. So then, I had. Is that one of your stuff in Florida? Yeah, I've just got this. I've just got this to show from No Frills. So I had two, I had some Sparkle Envy, I have to say, but I don't know quite what happened here. <laughs> it's a bit fat knitting. So I got the, I went on Wool Warehouse just for a look, as you do, and they finally had Make It Tweed in the original, I'm going to open this one, actual one tweed one. colourway. Um, in stock because this was just always out of stock and I ended up buying the neon so I had pink neon and yellow neon which I am actually going to use I think with quick, quick anyway so this is this kind of goes with everything because it's got all multi-colours in it and it's a shame yeah hmm. there's a lot of meterage 445 meters so I got two just because I never see it. So I was like buying it and buying it. And then of course you have to spend 30 quid to get free shipping. So I bought some yellow, my love affair of yellow. How much is that? Four pounds, something. My love affair of yellow continues. So I got two skeins of that. So I was thinking I'd hold, instead of mohair, I'd use this mm. and hold that double and knit another twistmas. Nice. Perhaps. Although I might not do twists mm. just a rib just the ribbing and then do plain mm. hat, um, body of the hat with the yeah. tweed 
And I also got two swings of this colour. That's got Nord. Um, oh, that's a nice colour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is probably a gift for someone. <laughs> and yeah, so that What's was... What's that colour called? That colour is... That's G20. 20. There's like, there's lot, quite a few in this. There's a blush, which is actually darker, I think. Mm. That is just so lovely. And it's lovely. I mean, you could knit a pair of socks with Nord as well. Mm. Anyway, and I also got this Melody, which is knitted on, it says to be knitted on eight millimetre needles. But I think it's thicker than the, than the brushed alpaca silk. But it would be probably quite nice on a five millimetre. Mm. So I was thinking I would knit. Bonjour high. Bonjour. No. Yeah. Yeah. Bonjour high with some. So then I ordered Sparkle from Lindy Hobby. And this colour. So I got two different. I got silver and that. Mm -hmm. That was really. I was thinking about adding to my crochet snowflakes, which I actually haven't made any of. But I may make one. Um I think the sequins are ever so slightly smaller than Cosmo. Mm. Well, King Cole Cosmo, I suppose. But that would look lovely with either of these colourways. Mm. And these are colours nine and seven. And what colour is that? Um I don't know. Four hundred and fifty. And that one's for 401. And I also got a skein of Kemki, Kremki Stellaris. Yes, there's somebody at the door. Yes, is that our final warning? It's 25 to 1. Yeah, okay. We'll okay. be there soon. <laughs> We're ready soon. Five see minutes. Okay. So that's, that would also look nice with the Ooh. black, wouldn't it? All the yellow actually. I mean, it right. Anyway, so that was Lindy Hobby, the glitter. And then I've just got what you bought me from Florida. And I had four balls of iron band from No Frills, which I'm gonna knit a vest in. Um yeah, we'll see. I'll need to find that and that. Oh, and then Florida. So <clears throat> mine's very short. Yeah. So Joe bought me a beautiful project bag and this lovely sock set, which is Emma's yarn. So a 50 gram. Yeah, so Emma, Emma's yarn is there in, so it was from Four Pearls mm -hmm. in um, Winter Haven. Haven in Florida. And Emma's yarn is there in House Dyer. So that's, it goes with lovely, lovely with my bag and is my favourite colours. And I got um, Super Silky in the colourway Mind Your Business. Um, and then two minis to go in my um, North Easterly. That one's called Foxy Lady. <laughs> and this one doesn't have a didn't have a little tag on it, but I just love those colours. And you'll remember they're from Florida, won't you? Yeah. I got some Chagu double points to increase my double point library. Because I, I was knitting on the North Easterly in Florida and I decided I didn't actually like the needles that I was using. Bags on the floor. 275 you knitting on. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I got this little bag as well. Mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful sister. sister. And some stitch markers from Prodo Keepers from Birdie Parker. Oh, they're lovely, they're snowflakes. Yeah, I just really like them. They're beautiful. Um, and then I saw this and I had given myself a budget and I had not met it. <laughs> I, well, no, I gave myself a maximum and I had got all of that and I hadn't reached my maximum. So I thought, I saw this and I absolutely mm. love it. It's the Attenti um, Caddy, isn't caddy it? in the colourway Tinto which is this beautiful, Tinto's wine, isn't it? Yeah. This beautiful wine red. 
and it's like a um, flock. Yeah, like a faux. It's not actual leather, is it? Like no, a faux leather. Be, they're vegan. Yeah, Thank with you. this velvet. And I just thought that was beautiful. So that came home with me too, and that's that's everything. So, well, what have people got to do for the giveaway? Um, Gift away. Just comment below. Wish us a happy birthday. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, cool. So, so yeah, this will so, go up when I get home tonight. Yeah. So we'll have um, just a quick reminder of Zoom. buying our patterns. Oh yeah, for the, for lamb. the lamb. A Zoom on the twenty third at eight o'clock. GMT. Um, the gift away. link will be below. Um, the gift away. Mm -hmm. And sock, along. sock alongs, yep. Cool. Yeah. And the winners get in touch with us. Yeah. Of the other things. And um, yeah, we will see you in a few weeks. And we're in about to go year. off and have a meal. Yeah. Lovely meal. So see you soon. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>